Well, I, I was 25 when I signed the contract for the PFL, and I've accomplished everything in boxing. And I call myself the GWOAT, G-W-O-A-T, and that's the greatest woman of all time. And I felt like I've done everything in boxing to prove that. But it's like, with being the GWOAT, it didn't come with the million dollar checks. You know, it didn't come with um, the endorsement deals, the sponsorships. It didn't really come with the respect from the network. So I was like, you know, um, what else is there for me to do in boxing? Like, I'm a 12-time world champ. I'm two-time undisputed, three-time division world champ. Like, what else can I do to get to the million dollar check in boxing? And it was like, it doesn't matter what you do, because look at what you've done, and, and it's still not there. So with the opportunity of, uh, of MMA, I was just like, I can add, I can add more to my goal, and it's like, what other female fighter can say, oh, she can possibly become an MMA champ and be a boxing champ at the same time? I don't think that there's any other woman that can say that or, or any male who's willing to do that. So it's like, to me, it's like, you, you, you get to be the once in a person life, you know, you get to be that one person in a lifetime again, you know? So um, it was a real conversation with myself, like one, can you do the MMA training? Are you willing to learn the different arts? Are you willing to humble yourself and start from the bottom and work your way up? You are the greatest. You need somebody to tell you, don't give up. You need somebody to tell you that you won't be stopped no matter who gets in your way, no matter what gets in your way, no matter how hungry you are, guess what? You're gonna be great. But I'm not telling you to go out there and be cocky. I'm not telling you to go out there and down other people. I'm telling you, it's okay to big yourself up. It's all right to speak highly of yourself. And people are gonna constantly tell you, oh no, you shouldn't talk like that. I wanna tell you something. People are scared that if they say something and it don't go right, that people are gonna laugh at them. But guess what? You might have said the wrong thing the first time, but you ain't said the wrong thing the second time. You understand that? You you might have you might have said the first time that you was the greatest and you might have had lost that fight. But guess what? The next fight you said, I'm still the greatest and you won that fight. So don't let people try to talk you down and tell you what you can and can't say because those people are just scared that they don't want to speak their mind. If they speak their mind and they feel they're going to be ripped, that they're going to be ridiculed and they're going to be talked about badly. Guess what? You never would have had the chance to fail if you never would have tried. At least you tried. Some people leave this world and never even try, never even, never even make an attempt at being great. But they want to ridicule you because you want to be great at something. And big yourself up. And don't let nobody try to tell you that you ain't good enough and that you ain't, and, and that you're not special enough. Because guess what? Four years ago, I had told myself, watch me be a world champion and anybody who bet against me will fail. And now we hear and four years later, I'm a nine-time world champion fighting pay-per-view my next fight. About to be the first boxer to be undisputed in two different weight classes. So can't nobody tell me that I'm cocky. No, I'm a manifestation. That's what I am. I'm a person who manifests her future. I'm a person who lets it know, who will let you know the real. That's who I am. That's who I am, and, and I'm a hard worker, and I'm passionate about what I do, and I'm passionate about how great I am. And if you're not passionate about how great you are, you'll never be great.